I'm Ad Fuzz with an episode today on winter training. I'm your average age group of triathlete and I wanted to share a few thoughts about winter training because here in the UK it is not particularly fun. Um, so just I wanted to just share some you know I've done three full distances one Olympic and I'm going to be doing the 70.3 next year so I've done quite a lot of training over the years um, and I live in Wales where it's like super wet all the time even not in the winter <laughs> And I wanted to just share a few thoughts, a few things to maybe help you guys keep motivated and just get out there and get it done. Because the bulk of the training that we need to do, you know, the volume stuff like base training and, you know, getting all that dialed in needs to happen in the off season, as well as strength and conditioning as well. So, where to begin? Um, every time I feel like I can't be bothered to, to go out in the rain and get my 10k run done or um, you know get on the trainer I've got a trainer now um, and I would recommend jumping on a trainer as opposed to riding out on the roads when it's icy and, and bad and stuff um, just for safety more than anything and you can actually control your your heart rate and conditions and stuff like that and like don't not spike your heart rate over wherever you need to you know for base training you should be keeping your heart rate low but yeah every time I feel like I <coughs> not motivated and I can't be bothered. I think about something that my granddad said to me. Um, my granddad, Dan's not with us anymore. And Dan used to say to me, because that's what he made me call him, because he said granddad was too, uh, <laughs> made him sound too old, which I want to sort of adopt that philosophy in myself as well. But Dan said, um, people will always take the path of least resistance. So if you're training for a full distance Ironman race, Loads of other people will probably say, oh, you're crazy, you shouldn't do that, that's too much work, that's ridiculous, blah, 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 blah. But they're not everyone, they're most people. And if you've already committed to doing it, then you're already one step closer to like, you know, doing something pretty awesome. Just from, just by deciding to sign up and do it. Um, so when you go, when it's like raining and you've got a running plan, then you need to just get out and get it done. And, you, and it's safe, you've got high-vis stuff, and you're warm, and you've got like the right layers and stuff. And it's okay to do, but you're just feeling like, Ugh. just do it. I know it sounds like ridiculous, but just put your shoes on and get out of the house, go. Um, another guy I really, really like listening to, to get motivation from is David Gargis. Um I won't even say anything. As soon as you finish this video, YouTube David Goggins and watch it and I dare you not to put your shoes on and go for a run because it's infectious but just remember like you have to put the work in in the winter and even though you don't feel like doing it you'll 99 times out of 100 you'll feel way better you know five ten minutes into the run or the ride or whatever and if it takes a little bit longer to feel all right the feeling of satisfaction you're gonna get at the end of it is like gonna be worth it 99 times out of 100 for me anyway and people I know so just do it like just tell yourself shut up put your shoes on get out there and just go like I'm really struggling at the moment being um, you know a stay-at-home dad and working you know I've got a photography business and a, and a, a video producing business and I don't get much time. So my biggest problem at the moment is just having everything ready to go so that when I've got like my 40 minutes, I can just go. So, you know, motivation. Most people will take the path of least resistance, but if you've decided to do a triathlon of any length distance, then, um, you know, you're not most people. So tell yourself that, remind yourself, okay, what I'm gonna do needs to, you know, I need to put some hard work into this. Um, and I've decided to do it and I'm going to do it. So shut up, brain, put your shoes on, let's go.